Hi everyone, my name is Denise Calhoun. I use she, her, and her pronouns, and I'm a psychologist with University Health Services. Today I'm here to talk about a topic that we may all have been struggling with, anxiety in response to COVID-19. We are all holding difficult questions and worries at this time. Will I get sick? Will someone I love be impacted by this? Will we be able to return to UW in the fall? What about my job? What is life gonna look like after all this? Please know that anxiety is a normal and expected response. Being anxious in response to a threat is your body's way of trying to keep you safe. Unfortunately, due to the nature of this pandemic, we've all been stuck in a prolonged stress state, which is likely impacting our ability to effectively cope with these normal emotions. So what can we do? I'm here today to talk about responding to our anxiety with compassionate self-talk. Compassionate self-talk is a really different way of responding to our anxiety and our internal self-critical voice, which may be telling us untrue things during this time, such as, I shouldn't be this anxious, or I should be coping with this more effectively. The first step in cultivating this compassionate self-talk is being able to acknowledge our emotions, like anxiety, when they are present. I am feeling anxious right now. I am feeling worried about my health and safety. While acknowledging our emotions can feel scary and overwhelming, it is better to acknowledge them rather than avoid them in the long run. The next thing we can do is we can normalize our emotions. Of course I am feeling anxious during a pandemic. It is likely that others around me are feeling the same way. Validating our emotions is an important component of self-compassionate talk. It is okay for me to be feeling anxious. My body is doing what it was designed to do. We can also offer ourselves comfort. It is okay. It's all right. This is really hard right now. And statements of reassurance. You're going to get through this. You're going to be okay. Along with these statements, we can also offer ourselves physical soothing touch, such as hugging ourselves. I'd like for you to practice these statements whether saying them out loud or saying them in your head during times of anxiety or uncertainty. Finally, we can ground ourselves in what we can choose to do during this time. There isn't a lot that's in our control, but we can still choose to do things that are consistent with what's important to us. I can choose to take care of myself by eating well and exercising. I can choose to stay in contact with the people who are important to me. I can choose to engage in behaviors that will help keep me and my community safe, such as washing my hands, practicing social distancing, and staying at home if I can. If you or another student are significantly impacted by symptoms of anxiety or other mental health concerns during this time, please reach out for help and support. The UHS crisis line is 24-7 and can be reached by calling 608-265 5600 and press option number nine. If you are still living in the state of Wisconsin, we are scheduling routine counseling and psychiatry appointments at this time. If you don't currently live in the state of Wisconsin, we can help connect you to care in your community through a care management appointment. For help with appointments and scheduling, please call 608-265-5600 and press option number two. Check out the rest of the resources on this page, including our virtual workshops and processing spaces, as places where you can still continue to connect with your peers and receive support. Take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, and stay safe during this difficult time.